What's going on, world? This is your girl, K. Rich, and I'm coming at you from a PK perspective. Man. I've just been in this place of worship since yesterday, since Soak Sunday. If you missed Soak Sunday, I'm telling you, you missed a lot. You missed the great presence of God, man. It, it's hard to even describe. And uh, I'm on here because sometimes it's so funny how God can tell you things to do and maybe not at that moment, you know, you don't, maybe at that moment you don't even know what that means. <laughs> and we think we do sometimes. And it's so funny how God is still faithful in our ignorance <laughs> until we get the clarity to really understand what he what he means maybe like a couple of weeks ago i was uh talking to my friend it was just like the holy spirit you know put in my mind you know that he wants that god wants me to be in a place of perpetual worship and i'm like you know okay i'm a worshiper i'm going to worship and i did not really understand even though i thought i did what that meant so i would make sure i spent time with god or i make sure that i, I you know i gave you know my 100% effort, you know, in, in worship, and I made sure, but that wasn't, that wasn't it, and I didn't realize it until this morning, so one thing I can say is spend time with God, and he will give you revelation, he will give you the knowledge of things that you don't even know, that you don't know, but I just was spending time worshiping, and I made sure that I, I did it in a certain way, and as I was just worshiping God, and it just went on and on all morning, all morning, like even to the point where, where I'm recording this, like is, I'm like kind of stepping out of the place I've been into, even to record this. But, you know, it's just to encourage you guys. But all morning, throughout the entire morning, it was just this sweet place of worship. And it wasn't like uh, my eyes are closed and my hands are lifted and I'm on my knees and I'm just like, but it was this intimacy, this intimate place of worship in my mind and my spirit, you know, just talking to God and worshiping him and, 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 you know, oh man, like it just went on and it felt like it never stopped from last night and it just was going on, on and on and on. And it's like two, two something here now. And I'm just like, okay, I got to go <laughs> do some things. But even in that, I'm going to do my best to stay in this place and that is the place of perpetual worship that God was talking about not necessarily every day spending 30 minutes hands raised eyes closed hallelujah but it's a, a, a place in your spirit it's a shifting in your heart and in your spirit where you're just constantly at this point of worshiping God constantly at the state of loving on him and being grateful to him and it's just an intimate place. And I have never been here before. Like, I'm doing my best to hold back my emotions. I've never been here. Not like this. And I'm just so thankful. I'm so grateful to God that even when we don't know, even when we think we know, and we, we may not have it down 100%, but our heart is right. And our yes to God is pure. He will honor that. And he will give us clarity. And he will show himself faithful. And man, I'm just so thankful. Um, it's crazy, man. It's so crazy. But I'm so thankful to God for revelation, for understanding, for patience with us, for long suffering with us, man. Like, I'm so grateful. I'm, I'm so grateful, man. But. I just, I've been kind of on this place where I'm just pushing, being obedient, being obedient, being obedient. Man, there is nothing like being obedient to God. So much comes and he'll give you so much for obedience to him. And I'm not talking about rewards. I'm not saying do it just to get something, but he's trying to show you something in the obedience. He's trying to, you know, take you to a certain place in obedience. He's trying to grow you or, or as he's pruning you in that obedience sometimes it's it's something that he's doing you know to get you to a certain place but it's all for your good 
He's 100% for your good. He's 100% for your benefit. He's 100% on your team. God is your number one supporter. He's there rooting you on. He wants nothing but the best for you. I would above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Like, his, his designs, his plans for you, his everything for you is to grow you, is to benefit you. He is such a good father. Such a good father. And being a daddy's girl myself, I know what it's like to have a dope dad, a good father. And it's just, it's so overwhelming. It's so much to try to take in, but I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. So I just want to encourage you guys, be obedient to God. Be obedient to God. Be obedient. Obey. I love y'all. I pray y'all have a great week. It's Monday. Get out there and get it. God bless you. Peace.